inna a'tainaka al-kawthar we've given you the greatest the most abundant good yas'aluhu man fi as-samawati wal ard kull yawmin huwa fi sha'n everyone in the skies and the earth is asking him let's first understand that su'al in the arabic language asking is two kinds and before i tell you what that means let me tell you the confusion about this ayah allah says everybody's asking him the angels are asking him the animals are asking him we're asking him but somebody comes and says i know an atheist friend he doesn't ask allah i know a friend who's not religious he never asks allah i my philosophy professor never professor never asks allah what do you mean everything is asking him that's when you need to understand there are two meanings of the word asking in the arabic language one is con- consciously asking the other is needing su'al is also needing so for example fa amma as-sa'ila fala tanhar the one who asks don't shrug them also means the one who needs don't shrug them there are people that come with it they're needy but they don't beg you need to know that they're in need and before they get to ask you should still give them the meaning of the ayah is everyone in the skies and everyone on the earth is in need and they keep needing from him there's a disbeliever there's a rebellious muslim there's someone who knows they're doing something wrong and they shouldn't be doing it they do it and defy allah anyway allah gives them and gives them and gives them too you know the one who prays among you 5 times a day and the one who doesn't pray at all and the one who's here for the first time this year all of you allah gives like it's not any of you allah doesn't give all of our lungs allah fills with air all of our hearts allah keeps beating the heart of mind that is beating inside every next beat before it beats it sends a dua to allah ya allah can i beat again and he gives his permission every vein in my body needs it needs from allah without the permission of allah la tasqutu min waraqatin not a leaf will fall until he gives permission not a leaf will fall off a tree not a cell in my body will move without his permission i can rebel allah allah gave my 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 soul the opportunity to forget about allah do whatever i want talk how i want earn money how i want whatever have whatever relationships i want spend my friday night however i want you know friday daytime alhamdulillah you did you did what is due to allah friday night now give to shaitan right for a lot of people so make the weekend complete balance the equation out but allah doesn't strike you with lightning Allah doesn't, you know, drag you back into the masjid. He could if he wanted to. He set nation straight before. He doesn't do that to you and me. When the hand steals, it doesn't become paralyzed. When a person does zina, they don't get a heart attack. When somebody eats haram, they don't get like stomach cancer. He doesn't do that. They keep eating and they keep smiling. Every one of them needs. Yas'aluhu man fi as-samawati wal ard. And then he says to you and me, "Kulla yawmin huwa fi sha'n." Every single moment, every single day, yawm here is actually a mustalah li jami' al awqat. Like it's all times, all hours, every single day, all the time, he is involved in something that only he can do. And this is actually not a warning in the surah. It's actually a beautiful thing that I wanted to conclude with. "Yas'aluhu man fi as-samawati wal ard." Kulla yawmin huwa fi sha'n. You see, me in the capacity of a teacher. When I'm teaching, let's say 50 students, one of them asks me a question, one of them needs some extra help, one of them says they have a problem, one of them says they have a confusion. I give one of them 5 minutes, I give another one 5 minutes, I give another one 5 minutes. If I give all of them 5 minutes, it's 250 minutes. I'm almost dead. I can't address all of their concerns. And even if I did, even if I give each of them 5 minutes, all of them will complain I only got 5 minutes. Isn't that the case? I can't keep track of all of their requests. I can't even answer all of their questions. Some of their questions are beyond me. Some of their re- requests or needs I cannot fulfill. Somebody will come and say to me, "I need about 3 hours of your time." I'll say, "I'm sorry, I don't have 3 hours of your t- of I, my time to give you." I wish I did. I have other obligations, you know. When people are demanding from you, you'll know what it means when too many people are asking you too many things. You know what happens to a person? They crack and they say, "I need a break." I'm just going to take a vacation. I can't handle this anymore. Like the manager of a store after like Christmas sales. Like they just want to don't want to deal with anybody. People snap when you keep making requests of them and asking them and asking them and the head of a household can lose it often because their demands are coming at them all the time from every direction. They're being pressured all the time. 
And in that position, you know some people will be heard and some people will not be heard. And the people that are more important or priority will be heard. People that are less important will not be heard. Look at who Allah Azza wa Jal is. Everybody's asking him. The believer is asking him, the disbeliever is asking him. The most rebellious of the, the Muslims, forget the non-Muslims for a second. Well, the, the most rebellious of the Muslims, the ones who openly, proudly do haram, who utter vile things from their mouth, who do wrong things towards one another. They do all of that openly. But even their heart begs for the next beat and Allah gives. You know, even they, Allah sends angels and guards their car as they drive to the club on Friday night. Even they. Allah Azza wa Jal protects and gives all of them and He says, I give what Allah provides, only He can provide. This is sha'an. Sha'an is an amr, yakhtassu bi ahad. It, it can only be done by a person. I can't, you know, like you know, some of you that run businesses, there are some things only you can do. If you hire somebody else to do it, they'll mess it up. And you've tried it before. You left them at the cash register, something got messed up. So only you can do it. This is called sha'an. There are things that Allah does that only Allah can do. Nobody else can do it. Nobody else can do it. And when you realize that is what Allah is doing for you all the time, you will forget one silly question that shaitan brings into your heart and brings into mind. Where was Allah when I needed Him? Where was I when I was having this problem? Why didn't He help me at this occasion? People ask this question, don't they? This question even comes in your head sometimes. Where was Allah? And Allah's answer is, I've always been there. And I'm taking care of your tongue as you get to say that. How do you think the voice comes out of your voice box? How does the air come out of your mouth till you question Allah? He gives you the strength to do that. <laughs> this is kulla yawmin huwa fi sha'an.